How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TV TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about some science. Don't don't leave the video, okay? Don't don't leave it. We're going to get briefly into some science so I can explain the difference between convection and conduction. I've been getting this question a lot in the comments, so I just wanted to clarify a couple of things and let you know the differences between the two. But first, if at any point you like this video, throw us a thumbs up, would you? It takes no time at all, and we really appreciate it. If you're gonna go scrubbing your way through it, at least leave us a like before you bounce. And if you'd like to pick up any of the units I talk about today, links will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. The process of vaporization essentially boils down into three steps. One, applying heat to your herb. Two, that heat extracts essential oils from your herb. Three, from your herb, sorry. Three, those oils then evaporate into gas molecules in the form of the vapor you inhale. In order to fully understand what conduction and convection are, it is important to also understand what combustion is. Now, this isn't gonna be a super preachy video. I like a joint as much as the next guy. I'm just explaining what all three things are, okay? So bear that in mind while we go through this. The easiest way I found to explain it is through cooking a sausage, okay? Think about cooking this sausage. You can cook the sausage over a fire. The fire is an uncontrolled heat source. You are going to cook certain parts of the sausage more or less than other parts of the sausage. This is combustion. It's just like lighting a joint. Second, you can cook that sausage on a pan on the stove. The element heats up, which then heats up your pan, which cooks your sausage. The heat is distributed more evenly than the fire, but you still have to move that sausage around in order to make sure you get an even cook. This is conduction. This is units like the Utilian 421, the Da Vinci IQ2, and the Zeus Arc. They have a bowl inside of them that heats up and then comes into contact with your herb. For best results, just like flipping that sausage in a pan, stir between draws to achieve even results. Conduction relies on heat transfer through direct contact. Okay, fairly simple so far. Like I said, we're just gonna scrape the surface of this science, okay? Third, you can cook that sausage in the oven. The element at the back or at the bottom of your oven will heat up, which heats the air inside the oven. Internal fans inside of the oven that's redundant, but you understand what I mean. Fans inside of the oven blow hot air over the sausage, which cooks it. The heat is distributed almost perfectly evenly, and you have to worry about moving it around less. This is convection. Convection vaporizers will either be powered by an internal fan, like the Volcano, or will use the power from your own draws, like the Mighty or the Utilian 620. Convection heating relies on an element heating air that then passes over your herb, or whatever it is you're trying to cook. That's the end of the science, I promise. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of both forms of heating. The pros of conduction vaporizers, they will generally be smaller. With convection devices, they have to be bigger to allow you to have that internal element that heats up the air that you bring over your herb. That's why the Mighty is so large. The heating element is down here. Your draw brings the hot air up and over your herb. The second general rule is that conduction vaporizers will typically have a better battery life. The next pro is good vapor quality. I will say good and not great. Convection vapor is typically more flavorful and comes in larger quantities because you have a little bit more free flowing air moving through the device. Conduction vaporizers in general are typically easier to use. The biggest con is an uneven cook without a stir. Conduction devices will also typically be lower priced. Of course, just like anything in the world, there is a spectrum. You can definitely start with something like the Utilian 421, which comes in under $100 and move your way all the way up to the IQ and the ARC. The IQ2 is around $300 and the ARC is around 200, 250, depending on if you're talking about US and Canadian dollars. And hey, I'm not being quoted on prices here, okay? You guys asked to have prices in the video, so I'm gonna start including them. But you cannot use my word as law and argue with our customer service team because they're gonna get mad at me. And I like those people, they're nice people and they deal with a lot of Like I said before, conduction devices have a little bit more battery. So the DaVinci IQ2 has a removable 18650 battery 
that you can just keep charging to keep it going. The Arc has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery and again, a typically smaller footprint. Now let's talk about convection vaporizers. Okay, pros, better vapor quality. So this includes flavor and more free flowing air as I touched on before. Generally convection devices will be a more wide open hit. You'll be able to taste the individual terps of your herb. Not saying conduction vaporizers are bad, but like I said before, good versus great vapor quality. On units like the Mighty, you get some fantastic flavor out of your device. Cons, they're typically larger and bulkier. In the case of the 620, it's roughly the same size, but with a unit on the top of the spectrum like the Mighty, it is going to end up being bigger for the reasons I stated before. For the most part, they come with a bit of a learning curve to get fantastic vapor quality. It's not a ton of difference, but in order to really achieve the results you want to achieve with a convection device, you will need to do just a little bit more work. Also, the battery in these devices will typically not last as long. Convection devices are typically higher priced, with units like the 620 coming in at the low end at around $150. With excellent airflow and great flavor, and the ability to have precise temperature control. Convection devices, however, scale pretty quickly, and you can hop up to something like the Mighty, which will cost you around $400 but deliver some fantastic vapor quality. And then you can go even further to a unit like the Volcano. Well, it's not like, to a unit that is the Volcano that will cost you around $500. This is the reason that desktop devices are almost all convection devices. The trade-off is incredibly clean flavor. And of course, with a desktop device, you don't have to worry about battery life. With the Mighty, it will typically last you around 90 minutes of continuous use before needing a recharge. Of course, a lot of your experience will come down to the quality of your herb and the quality of the device that you use. There are great devices in both conduction and convection. It's just a question of what you like the best. The last thing I wanna to touch on briefly is hybrid vaporizers. Of course, with any convection vaporizer, there's going to be a certain amount of conduction happening. It's unavoidable. The bowl is going to get hot. However, there are specifically hybrid devices that lean into the principles of both convection and conduction. These units typically hit the middle really well and offer better than average flavor and battery life. Something like the Utilion 722 comes in at around $200 and uses both of these principles well. It also can handle waxes and concentrates really well because of this. In summary, conduction vaporizers are typically better for things like a night out, as they have a smaller footprint and better battery life. Convection vaporizers are a little bit better for staying at home. They have better flavor and less battery life. Of course, these are all general rules and you're gonna find exceptions to the rule no matter what you say or do. So please don't take my word as law. Do your own research, look into the devices that you're interested in and find the one that's right for you. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please tap, tap that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and that little bell to stay up to date on all of our latest. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different video, if you'd like me to do more science videos, I don't know who out there wants me to do more science videos, but I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help on anything else you'd like explained. I hope I did a good job, who knows? Until next time, my name is Alex for T-Vape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.